Hi guys, thanks for watching. Welcome to today's video. I thought it would be a good day to vlog because there's a lot going on today. I did get a new lens. If you can tell, there's like way more in the shot and I'm really excited about it. Um, I hope it works out well. I hope you guys like it. I hope I like it. I hope I can figure it out. I'm not like a tech smart person, so I do my best. But anyways, I wanted to share some home updates today. I ordered a couple things. Um, so I'll show you what those are and where they're going. I have to go to a consultation. I need to start filming a clean with me. I have a lot of things on my list. Here's a quick little outfit of the day. I shared this sweatshirt in that outfit ideas video a couple weeks back. It's so cozy, it's so comfy, and it's an Amazon find. It's a really good deal. I love sweatshirts like this that are like super trendy and have a fun print or a graphic on them, but a lot of them are really, really expensive, and this one's not. It's in like the 20 something dollar range. I know it's under 30 for sure. The first home update area is the front door and I ordered this console table from Target. I shared this a few weeks ago like right before the whole line came out and as soon as it came out it sold out so I've been like waiting, waiting, waiting. I keep checking and it finally is back in stock so I grabbed it. I love the woven look on the drawers. I just think it's so pretty. I don't even know how long. I did see it in person but it was the only one at that store. It was like a floor model so I didn't want to get it then. I wanted to order it online and have like a brand new one um and then i ordered a bench to go right underneath it that print is not going to surprise any of you and that thing takes like five weeks i'm hoping it ships faster because the console table is going to be here in just a couple days it's going to be empty for like a month underneath it until the bench comes in i at first was thinking of doing like an x bench and then an x bench like having a set of two i really like how that looks but i thought the other one I thought it was going to be so much more practical because it's a storage bench so the um, seat will lift up we can put our shoes in there or whatnot in the spring and summer like flip-flop sandals and i just think that's going to work out really well and then i'm not sure what to do above it i'll probably do like a small mirror but up here i was thinking should i do like a watercolor painting something big or should i do a series of like skinny and tall family photos let me know in the comments because honestly i go back and forth every day that's everything I have figured out for the front entryway downstairs so far. The circle table and the lamp, I don't know what I'm doing with that lamp, but the circle table is gonna go in the workout room. Um, and now I have a bathroom update. If you are sick of me showing this bathroom like this, believe me, girl, I am too. It's been like six weeks without any mirrors. The ones I ordered, I shared. They came in, they didn't look anything like the photos, so we just sent those back. And then I was on Lowe's.com last night and I found these mirrors. I'll put them on the screen right now, actually. They were on sale for a really good deal. I was skeptical of the quality since the price was so low, but I looked at the review photos and it looked really nice in people's houses. So I did a store pickup. I'm sure it's ready. I don't know if we'll have time to pick it up today. I can dream. I just, I really don't see that happening, but regardless, this weekend we're gonna have those mirrors in here and then i need to figure out the faucets i know chad wants to tile all the way up this wall but i'm trying to talk him out of it for now because i would really like to tile the floor and the half bath downstairs before we do that in here since that bathroom floor is just the worst we already have a change of plans today chad just left to go get those mirrors for the bathroom so i will be able to show those to you today um and he went to go to best buy for a camera battery i'm holding i'm eating scrambled eggs and avocado um he went to go to best buy as well to get me another battery for this camera because i only have one if i'm gonna film a clean with me and a vlog on this today it's gonna die i have been meaning to get a second battery for like i don't even know six months or not six months six weeks a while so he went to go do that that way I can get a lot of filming done today. I'm just gonna keep eating this because I must have, I don't know, five minutes left and then it's gonna be craziness. Oh, he's up. Now I need to eat really, really fast. Okay, let's go get that baby. Good morning. Hi, my love. Good morning, baby. Can I have my baby? Somebody woke up on the wrong side of the crib, so we're gonna do one episode and then we're turning on Kids Bop 
and play with toys. I wanted to show you guys something. This is something new we're trying starting this week, writing out everything that we're gonna have for dinner throughout the week. We didn't put anything for Saturday and Sunday, so I guess it's takeout, I don't know. And the day that I'm cooking is Friday. It's pasta with meatballs. I would rather have like store-bought sausage and cut it up, but Chad really wants me to make meatballs. And you guys know I don't cook, so I have one day a week where I'm on, four days a week where he's on, weekends, Forrest will make it, I don't know. Forty boy, our friends would like an update on you. Say so I run around like crazy, I have a big personality, I want what I want when I want. I wanted to show this to you guys, if any of you have a little one, this is so cute, he loves it. So the fruit has a Velcro in between it, I don't know if you can do it, there we go, with one hand, and then it comes with a knife. So they like slice this and then slowly it comes apart. He does this every day. I think it's adorable. I will link it. He got it for Christmas. If you have a little one around his age range, this is it. While he watches that, I'm gonna start folding the laundry behind me. I'm really gonna try and finish it. I doubt that will happen. Once one episode's over, we're gonna kids bop, have a snack. And then I think by then that Chad will be back and I can show you guys those mirrors. And then I gotta get out of here because I have an appointment to go to. I got this at Target the other day because it was on sale for $7. Isn't that cute for like a summer dress? I haven't washed it yet. Haven't even tried it on. I got a medium because I wanted to make sure it wasn't like real short. No, 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 no. The mirrors are here. They're sitting on the counter. They're not actually installed quite yet, but I still thought it would be a good thing to show you so you can see where things are going in here. And then on the light fixture, there's these ball things that go over the lights. We didn't put those up yet because we didn't know if we'd have to take the light fixtures down to put up the mirrors, depending on which ones we got so we can finish putting that up. I can order shelves finally to go right here that are gold um, since I'll know like how much space I have since we have the mirrors. There's so many things where I have to figure out what I'm doing for one thing before I can do the next thing kind of thing. And we all know this has taken me forever. So one more step closer. You want a sip? You want a sip? You can have a sip. I just got here. I am at a hair extension consultation, which I feel like this sounds so extra. Um, I always have used like the clip-in hair extensions, you know, from Luxy Hair, and I haven't ever had the permanent kind. So I really want to try them. And it's called Invisible Bead Extensions. It's kind of like the Hair by Chrissy. Well, I don't know for sure, but I think it's the same thing that Hair by Chrissy does, and it allows you to put your hair up. Um, so I'm excited to see. I don't really know what the consultation is. I guess it's just picking out the color and the length and all of that so they can order it. Um, sorry, there's so many people walking around around here. And what else was I gonna tell you? I don't know, I feel very extra, but also I'm excited to like have something fun for myself that I'm looking forward to. I don't really do a whole lot of like extra things. I've never had a spray tan. I haven't had my nails done in, I don't know, like five or six years. I just do them at home. I haven't had a haircut in at least a year. I have Chad just across the bottom and I've been using a box dye. So I've never had eyelash extensions. I haven't ever done like any extra things, you know, so I'm excited. I'm waiting for them to text me that I can come in 
so I figured I'd tell you guys I sold this car I still own it I guess for like another week or so I sold it to family so I still will see it every once in a while I'll give you guys a car tour if you care I'll just like show you around what it looks like and I had this car for like two and a half years around there but now we're looking for a full-size SUV uh, that has the bucket seats in the second row and then a third row. I'm not in a rush though until like spring. So I have a few months to look around and see what the options are and find a good deal and all of that. And I care about the inside of a car way more than the outside. I want it to be white. I know that it could be black, but preferably white with a cute interior. And yeah, I'm excited. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know. We need more room for sure. And I know that Chad wants his truck back. He always says that because that's like the car seat car. Um, and there's stuff everywhere in there. And he's just like, I want all this out of here. So my car is going to be the family car, the car seat car. And now we're on the hunt. This is what the front looks like. So here's the center thing the steering wheel area this is a 2013 it's a little bit older and i originally was looking for 2015 it's the last year that they made this car but then we found out that 13 14 15 is basically the same and of course like the older it is the less money it is so we found this one it only has it doesn't say how many miles i think it's like 50,000 miles on it which is really good for a car that old that's the back seat there is some trunk space back there i can't really tell right now but I'd say it's like a small SUV sized car. They just texted me I can come in, but here's the outside in case you're ever wondering what I've been riding around in. This was it. Yeah. And then use the sentence to kind of give you the ashiness for the end. Yeah. Okay. I don't have like that ashy of an extension on hand. We'll have to tone them. Okay. But we can totally do that. Okay, cool. And then, you know, we just kind of do like baby lights around your face and then break it into the extensions. And then the extensions will help break up your natural hair down here. That's where you might I'm home with Fory Boy right now. He's going shopping. He has his little shopping cart back there. I'm gonna pick it up, okay? Oh. Okay. I guess that's actually what we're doing. Chef Chad, what's on the menu for tonight on the fridge? Tonight is steaks and guacamole. And probably cauliflower rice. And is Forrest gonna eat it? Nope. <laughs> what is he gonna eat? No, he eats steak. Remember the other night he ate steak. He liked you it. You like steak? He likes steak and he likes roasted Brussels sprouts. Say, I prefer the yogurt bites, shredded cheese, <laughs> avocado, and what else does he like? Sliced ham? Sliced ham. Cory Boy and Daddy are cooking. This is extreme hurry up chef show because it's 5.06, somebody skipped their nap and needs to go to bed early. So we're trying to make sure he has a real meal, a bath, and all that jazz before he expires. That's what we call it. And don't judge the mess everywhere. I'm filming an extreme clean tomorrow. What? We're having frozen cauliflower risotto. Frozen cauliflower with steak. Oh, very good. Very good job. What's something that everyone should know about steak? That you don't have to buy the most expensive one for it to taste good. What kind of steak is it? These are top sirloin strip steaks. They're like five bucks. But they're good. And there's no fat and they're delicious. Where is he? Where you looking? How you pause? Where you talk? I think it's 
said enough. You said you love for me something brand new. You said this is something you would never do. Here we are. Okay, we gotta wash, wash, wash the baby, okay? Alexa, play lullabies. Okay, we have a very handsome man. Took a bath, he had his lotion, his teeth brushed, hair combed, fresh jammies. What do you think, bud? You feel good? And he's sucking on a washcloth because every time we take it, he is very mad. Just waiting on his bubba. And then it's time. I'm done, I'm about to go see what the kitchen looks like. It's very echoey in here, sorry. I did that in a little less than 30 minutes. I did 20 minutes on the treadmill, um, and then 15 of each of those things I did over here. Then I did it again, and then I did 30 of whatever the legs going up is. I did that the other day, I just, I don't know. I like that one. I'm gonna go see what the kitchen looks like and take care of that because there's a lot of cardboard and trash that Shad's dealing with in the garage right now. And I'm watching The Car Mom on YouTube. It's the underscore car underscore mom. And she does reviews of cars for moms. Like she says, what strollers and car seats fit in that. It's a lot of SUVs, so she's right up my alley. Here's your before with everything from dinner here, there, and everywhere. The toaster's still out from breakfast. And the after, thank you to the world's best husband for finishing this for me. I did like three or four minutes of it. He walked in and said, I know you have work to do, I'll do it. Bada boom, bada bang, let's check the sink. Nothing. I'm about to start editing, but I thought I would show you guys the main inspiration for my hair. I shared a few different pictures. This is a video, of course, and I really like this one because it's as dark as my hair. Like, it's pretty dark except for the middle and then the bottom. I'm not going to go as long as her, but somewhat similar is kind of like the vibe I'm going for. And that's everything for today. I'm just gonna sit here in my office, get some work done, work on this video. There's a couple other things I'm behind on that I need to pick up the ball and get to where I need to be on. So that's how I'm gonna spend the rest of the night, shower, go to bed, and do it all again tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I have recent videos down below and a lot more, so don't miss out on that. And I'll see you right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye.